Welcome back. Israel's Prime Minister has arrived in Washington for talks with Barack Obama. It's been a while since the pair met in person, despite the traditionally warm relationship between the countries. Mr. President. We do not have a, a closer friend or ally than uh, Israel. Live now to RT correspondent Alexei Yaroshevsky, who's got the latest. Uh, Alexei, welcome. How are things progressing then over where you are in Washington? Well, it looks uh, kind of frosty at the moment. Uh, we saw that uh, President Obama met Netanyahu at the White House and acknowledged straight away that there have been uh, differences and uh, pretty much uh, very strong disagreements on one issue, which is the Iranian nuclear deal. Uh, and that could be the bone of contention here. Now, we know that Netanyahu here is to defrost uh, the uh, strained ties between Washington and Tel Aviv, which have been particularly bad in the last 12 months or so, and to ask for more money. Now, we know that uh, Israel is receiving around $3 billion dollars worth of military aid every year uh, from the United States. Uh, this agreement, which um, pretty much entails this, uh, uh, this aid, is expiring in 2017, and Netanyahu is seeking more money, uh, namely uh, around $5 billion a year. But the Iranian deal and the disagreements on that between Washington and Tel Aviv could be uh, just a factor which may hamper his aspirations to get more money. Now, we've heard, of course, over the past six months, um, ever since the Iranian deal was, uh, was pretty much uh, signed, um, that Netanyahu described it as a historic mistake. Uh, Obama uh, lashed back at uh, the Israeli Prime Minister. We also know that Netanyahu tried to rally the congressman in the United States to vote against uh, this deal, and it doesn't seem that uh, the two leaders have progressed much uh, in terms of finding a common uh, language on that uh, issue. We're also expecting Netanyahu to speak at uh, uh, one of the Washington's think tanks, and Obama will attend that conference too, He's expecting some uh, interesting uh, comments uh, there. And the biggest question right now is whether Netanyahu will make any loud statements, as he usually does. Just recently, uh, he uh, basically said that it was a Palestinian mufti who uh, incited Holocaust of the Jews in the 1940s, not at of Hitler. So the biggest attention right now is whether uh, the both sides will try to keep this meeting uh, clear and, and calm or Netanyahu would make uh, more so statements again. Of course, we're following this true? meeting as it develops here in Washington, D.C. Absolutely. Many thanks to Alexei Yaroshevsky reporting live there from Washington, D.C.